same miles either way, though, you know, if you, if you reverse it back out, though. So, have you ever had a McRib? No. You know, we used to say that was kangaroo meat back in the day. <laughs> and I'm not so sure that it wasn't, because somewhere I read something about, they found kangaroo meat in the McRib. <laughs> You've never had a no, McRib. I'm not. I'm how, interested in having one to be how honest. Do you, I just, how do you not have a McRib? I'm gonna put that in the whole pumpkin spice, like the limited time offer food. I'm like, eh. So you don't do limited food? I don't do that. I don't do the pumpkin spice, I don't do the McRib. I think it's kind of a genius thing because by about the time that you have one and you're like, you know, I'd like to try another one of those, you can't have them. And so then like you, think you go, about yeah, it all year. yeah, and then you're like, I gotta have me a McRib. Yeah, I just don't right? want to get myself into that kind of. <laughs> because, <laughs> I don't want that because that, you don't want that stress. I don't want that stress of the whole year where I'm like, like I actually like, like that thing, and now I want it, and I can't get it. And they're taking it away. And they're gonna, and they, you know, who's that? Oh, it's John. It's John. Hey, nice. Look what he's got going on. Hey, John, what are you doing? Well, actually, I'm finding something you might be interested in. Uh, Not sure why you guys are, but if you're interested in Quail Point, I found it. You really know where it's at? I mean, seriously. No, seriously, I know where it's at. I'm just putting a map together. I'm just plotting it out now. If you guys want to go. Can you go today? Uh, yeah, I can go today. We'll have to get going pretty soon. Can you? How soon can you be here? Well, we're heading down to Tucson, but we are not going to do that. We're going to turn around, and we're going to come get you, and then let's go. I'll be ready. I'll see you guys when you get here. Cool. All we'll right. see you. Thanks, John. That's Thank awesome, you, man. That's man. awesome. All right. Okay. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, that's All awesome, right. So man. let's turn around, man. Yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. get back to John's. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. We've been talking about that one for a while. Hell yes. Good deal. Man, cool. well, there we go. I wonder if he really knows where it's at. I'm going to believe him. You know, he is uh, big on his coordinates. He won't go anywhere if he doesn't have a pin, so. He's got to pin everything. So, yeah, he gets pretty, uh, he's a pretty big deal for him. So, yeah, man, that's awesome. Good day. Let's see what we find. Yeah, let's get the hell turned around. Let's go. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Jace Rick. And James. James, what a hell of a road to even get here. Gee, many. So, let's get some water. Let's get ready to go. I'll tell you what, that was a hell of a ride. A little bumpy. <laughs> we think we're at Quail Point. We think we are, right? But I'm not so damn sure we're at Quail Point. Are you? I'm not sure at all. Okay, John, you think? I think we know where we're at. I, I don't know anything. If I did, I wouldn't be with you two. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> On that note, let's... So let's take a walk through here. here. Okay, let's see if we can't find something to see and verify where we're at as we hike through here. Uh, your guess is as good as mine at this point, man. Okay, here's the rock through here. Got some really promising look. Oh, Gabe, look at here. Ah, look at here. Point. I recognize those from the other video. Oh, man. Nice. I, I think I think we are here. I think we have found, whoa, nice. man. Wow, that's like three weeks of research. <laughs> you know what? It, I tell you what, when I was coming through the valley, I wasn't, you know, I'd studied Google Earth, but I, I still wasn't positive. You know, it, the road kind of spun us different directions, but oh my, look at these here. Look how incredible. Look at this. Look at this, James. My God, look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. That is unbelievable. That's old, dude. Now, they're saying that there are petroglyphs here over 1500 years old not just your normal six to eight to a thousand but up to 1500 years i can't wait to get up the hill i mean if you oh man you they're all over look at that hand right there that is un look there's another one look at that this place is unbelievable John's coming and he's got the big camera so we can shoot anything up the hill that we possibly can. We brought the telescopic today. 
I say, I'm so excited, you James. You like hiking so much, huh, John? I do. I do. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just get up this hill. I just, I, man, I'm just ready to, you know, one side of me wants to start over here, but then it's like, yeah, hell, let's go this way. Let's, yeah, let's shoot right up through here, James, and see what we can find. We've already looked at the binoculars and saw that, you know, we're in the right place. This is where we need to be. Tell you, it looks like there's some right on the top of that hill. Let's take a look up there. Again, this is the time you're glad you got some good gripped shoes. Because you're going to work your way up this hill. You've seen these glyphs with a circle. We've always seen a lot of stuff. This is unbelievable. Man, this is a treacherous hike too. Yeah, these are a bitch. Look at this panel here. There we go. That is crazy. That's the real deal. Look at that J. Like, why would a guy scratch his name in this? That makes no sense. Yeah, that's that makes a bullshit that... move on a nice Look at that. That is a beautiful glyph right there. That is beautiful. Look at this guy. Kind of butterfly looking guy. Like a horned guy that's got the same similar. There's like a thunderbird. Really like weird looking thing. That almost looks like some type of bird. I like those long. Here. I don't know. No, that's a long tail, like a, like either a mountain lion or a jaguar. Now, supposedly there is a glyph up here somewhere that has a jaguar and a dead man. The curled tail. I remember the other video. He talks about that being something he read about. Now there are jaguar slash mountain lion stuff over at Sears Point that we saw. This is really, this is a beautiful piece right here. I, this this really big is. section man, that whatever really they are, cool. that is cool. Tell you what, this is a special place. This, James, is a special place. Look at this one here, and you know one thing about it is it looks like it just got done. Now that's where we're parked down there. John's leaving us. John's leaving us. He's had enough. You know what I think we need to do is, is walk this ridge line a little bit. Kind of get our bearings. You know what's funny is you look down here. I mean, that's not like just a trail that just happened to be there because modern man made it, right? That's what's so funny is it's so distinctive. So you can imagine all these ancients walking this trail all the way through these valleys. And I mean, it's just so funny because there's not been enough man here, modern man here, to even come close to walking through here like this. So, you know, they've been walking this road for maybe a thousand, possibly 2,000 years old. goes back down in here also pretty cool <laughs> oh look at that there's there's that marker that i believe then i think alex saw this shout out to alex this is the directional you know the directions yep. so if that's accurate it'd be north yep there's the ancient compass. west east south and you know what? I, I'd, I'd actually say in my head, this is exactly accurate, is what's scary. I would say this thing is right to the T. So this is pretty much spot on perfect with the real compass. Modern compass is lining up almost directly with the cardinal directions here. That's pretty spectacular. <laughs> that, you said spectacular, James! That is, that is unbelievable. That is crazy right there, man. How cool is that? Because Alex thought that, right? But he didn't have a compass. I don't, I don't remember if he, he did. He didn't pull one out if yeah. he did, so I had to just see. But there we are. That is dead on. That's pretty amazing. So the that cardinal points. You, this is absolutely the, the cardinal directions, so. You know, I'd like to think they had some type of sanctuary in this yeah, this believe, area. You know, kind of you get that feeling, don't you, down here? He really, I think he even said that. Yeah. I think he said he thought he had a, a feel that was really, yeah, you know. the perfect place to hunker out of the wind, right? If well, nothing else. and you know, you get over that. here and you start looking. And this panel over here, if you take a look at this one, 
is really neat. I'm, I mean, I'm feeling some type of spiritual, some type of spirituality down here. I really am. Definitely the place you would, you would hunker down. A little like spacemen. Just traveling, you know. And then it wasn't a permanent. Look at that ladder it goes all the way up. Oh wow! You're right, dude. Wow. All the way up. Addle, 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 right there. Okay, that's definite. That's not even a question on that one. Let me see if I can trace this ladder. That ladder goes all the way up. Yeah. And you know, somebody... Oh, there's stuff down below here, too. Here's one of those eye figures. I didn't Very see that. Very faint, like almost undistinguishable. All over all. there. Okay, we have something really big, what James. Really big. And I got to get over there. It's over here. I got to kind of climb through here okay. and see if I can't, if I can get around this way or I got to go that way. Oh, I, do I see what you're talking about right here? The grooved out? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's a big deal. I'm going to slide through. That's a big deal. That is unreal. This is not our way. No, you got to kind of basically hang up and down. I hope it do not collapse. That is... Look at that. That is really cool, man. That is that is different, right? I don't know what it is, but I like it. I mean, when you see that grooving, and look where they had to get to do it. They had to squeeze down in here yeah, okay. to get that done. I'm going to squeeze. We're still on, so... This is a place he definitely was, wasn't it? Uh-huh. I kind of like how you have to hug that rock. Well, I like the one that's on the ground. So what was the purpose of him having that, putting that one there on the ground? That is a, that's a beautiful. That really is a neat wall. Right there. Right well, there. what's this? Yeah, that one behind me. I was just shooting that. Can you get it? What I'm is, stuck. what is that right there? It's another S that goes all the way up that hill from all the way to the bottom. And you look at that back in there and that's just. Oh, there it is again. Yeah. Cause that's right here. See this one? I've never seen that shape before with the like repetitive. Well, see, you know, I'm glad we came down here. And again, we saw that circle and we know, you know, and that's why you kind of, you know. Yeah, note those circles because they take you somewhere. Good. Well, you know, here's the thing, James. I, I, I was thinking that maybe we'd try to get to another location today, but I think I'd rather just spend the day. I think Quail Point, huh? Working this out. I think it deserves our full attention on today. No, they were in them. Because why wouldn't you be? You know, out of the, out of the elements. You know, James, they love these crevices. You see this whole panel here, very distinctive. You got a really cool panel right here, right? Yep. It oh, seemed yeah. like they loved these encasements whether they they hunted out of them or you know they love these little crevices that this wall builds i'm going to say that's a road runner right there and then i'm going to say this is like spanish stuff even though i don't know that that looks like a road runner right there james and then the markings down there I don't know what that looks like. Does that look like a Roadrunner to you? It kind of does. That absolutely looks like a Roadrunner to me. Tail and everything. You know, along this wall, these these dark black rocks, they're just, uh, they're, just be they're naturally beautiful. Yeah, I was just going to say, there you go. To your left there. Yeah, I saw, he, that was kind of a strange design right there. I hadn't seen a lot of. And then here's a weird, I don't know what these are. This is a weird one right here too. All of definitely archaic stuff. There's something over here I'm gonna take a look at. It's all that. Nice, nice little panel right there. And then over here, oh, that's cool. Little kind of crow magnum. <laughs> you know, not everybody was a great antelope or deer hunter, uh, drawer, I should say. They weren't perfect right angle. 
Yeah, what was up with that? Okay, there is a perfect hand. I don't know why when I see them hands, it just, I like them. I it's just like, when I see them hands, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, no, we get excited about hands and feet. <laughs> Maybe that's silly, you know, I thought, get it. Well, I call it high five in the ancients. Love it. So I'm just going to put some little baby deers right here. <laughs> so I don't want to use all my, my, my canvas up. That is interesting. That's a beautiful design right there. Some type of, I want to say calendar, but it may not be anywhere near that. But well, it definitely. it is. It almost has like that Mayan feel to it. Yes, it does. Like with the. It really does have that Mayan feel. I agree 100%. You know, they were all, all on this ridge. There's no doubt about that. And here is another one of them areas that looks like they were hunted out of, whether they did or didn't. Look at this here. Do I look like I'm in hunting mode? I'm in hunting mode, James. Can't you see? I'm hidden down. I'm hunkered, hunkered down in this ancient cave. You know he was here. He's down in this. What a perfect, you know, hunting blind. That's humongous hands and humongous feet. That's like he's got the biggest hands. That's a big hand man. There's another guy right there. It looks like he's almost throwing. You know, he walked across the ridge, across the top. But what we noticed was there's so much stuff on the ground also. Now, I wouldn't have wanted to miss going up that ridge line. But look at this panel right here, James. Step around this rock. This is one of the best panels we've seen since we've been here. Very archaic, very modern. I mean, it looks mo not modern design, but ancient. Look at that piece right there. There again is that broom kind of thing. Did any of this. There's a nice panel up here that you need to see. This is nice stuff right through here. All on the level. I mean, look at that. I'd like to call that uh, newspaper rock. That's kind of a newspaper rock to me. Now let's walk this bottom line now and see what we've got. What we're looking for is that hummingbird. Look. Looking for a quail. Okay. There's the turkey fucking legs. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, there's the one he talked about. Oh, we got to do a little deal on that. Because that's the group of people. Yeah. Oh, shit, look here. John, you need to get your ass up here. Look at that. Put the finger. Or maybe their thumb. No, it's this way. Yeah, right there. Man, that is special right there. Look at that. We're not playing anymore. No, I quit school because of recess. I can see that. <laughs> now, look at that panel right there. Look how cool that is. Look at that panel right there. Look at that panel on the corner, and there's the sun. This is pretty neat. Look at the group of people, John. And look at the group of people. This is a party. Okay, right here. Yeah, wow. And that the rock's still in it. Nobody swiped the rock yet? Because nobody knows they're here. I do. We're in a place that nobody knows. I can't even see this one. So we keep finding stuff. That That's cool. Us down the way. That's a cool one. That is. That's cool. Little dots up and top by your hands. Yeah, right through here. No quail, but. You know, my, my thought is, is that, you know, if it was down here, they wouldn't call it quail point. You know, it had to been like, okay, they went to the point, like all oh, the points of quail, and you're like, oh, quail point. Now that's what my head's thinking. Well, hell, no quail.
no quail and it got pretty warm it got extremely warm one thing about these black rocks is boy the reflection you can't hardly see just like the last time we were out here we found everything but the quail the quail looted us how'd that happen i guess it happens sometimes we tried everywhere we thought it could be no so, luck so quail point as a recap, what an awesome place. Really cool, really, I'm really neat. really glad we came this morning. Yeah, it was really an awesome, awesome trip. Want to thank uh, On The Spot John. Uh, Thanks, John. For getting us out of here. He's got a jacked up phone, but you know, that kind of stuff happens, but. Uh, what happened with your, with your drone? <laughs> my drone? My dr drone decided to fly on its own. It was truly a drone with no pilot. And, it wasn't uh, going to come back. And, it, and I'll put that in there because I should have had the camera on, but it was going bye-bye. I've done it before, and I know what happens. It, it was leaving me. It had lost control, and uh, so there we are. Shit happens. It does happen.